everyone i uh printed this on my fdm printer my filament printer and i wanted to share this with you because i really like this print uh, i designed this in fusion 360 and i just printed it on my normal print settings so i am using my epoxy resin and this is a two-part resin where you use equal parts of uh, part A and part B, so I'm just going to mix that up. I mix in a tiny bit of glitter and some blue resin color and mix that really 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 good together before I am going to use this. I use a tiny pipette to uh, take up some of the resin and put that into this little divot of the letters on this little tool uh, holder here. Um, and I'm just taking my time so I don't overfill it, but not underfilling it either. I kind of dome off the letters a tiny bit, so it is kind of an overfill, but it's uh, not allowed to overspill if you understand what I'm meaning. And I'm doing that on all the letters here. You really don't have to do this. You can paint them as well if you want to, or just leave it as is. Everything will be perfect anyway. It's still usable. I just like to do some little extras on some of my stuff. If you used a epoxy resin like I did, please let it dry for at least 12 hours, maybe even uh, 24 hours before you use it, so it's all hardened and dry. I will leave a link in the info box below for the 3D print file for this one. Thank you for watching and I hope you will enjoy this one now where your tools are not rolling all over the table. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.